Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the green room here on uh, Facebook Live, a lot to discuss today. We're gonna to be talking about the, the results that we know of, and there's still some things in the balance of the special elections in August. Uh, some are actual elections, some are primaries. The power of the president, where Republicans should take away, why the Wall Street Journal really believes that the blue wave's inevitable, and they're gonna really wipe out and take out the House. Why Lindsey Graham fears the same thing on the right. Uh, Pete, if we can get that sound. I see that he mentioned that somewhere. Um, hopefully he mentioned that as a Republican, and other people feel differently, like Karl Rove, who's a very fact-based guy, not all in for Trump, but certainly a Republican. He actually feels differently. He thinks the power of the president could mean a lot, and candidates have to stand up for themselves. But I want to get what you have to say about that. And also, Alexandra, I can't ever... Osseo. Osseo, whatever. You, you say it differently every time. But again, some wild statements for her and her policies. The more she talks, I think the more panicked Democrats have to be will bring you some of her latest comments and why every single one of her candidates lost. We're also going to talk about immigration. Nancy Pelosi says we want to help those people in the desert coming with their families across the border. Is that indeed true? Um, uh, is that what you want? You want more people to be able to come in? Or do you want them to stay out? Then you'll vote for a Republican. We're also going to tell you about a horrific story of Philadelphia Sanctuary City and the mayor couldn't be happier. Could he be happier that ICE wanted to pick up a uh, two-time uh, uh, sex offender and they, and they decided to protect that sex offender? He just raped another woman. He's going to jail for eight to 20 years. It all could have been stopped. And this sanctuary city seems to be uh, on the defensive now, saying, oh, well, you should have got a warrant then. No, when ICE comes knocking, you give the person over. That's what should happen. But it doesn't happen in New York, doesn't happen in Chicago, doesn't happen in Philadelphia, and nobody's safe because of it. And then we're going to talk about Mueller versus Trump. It kind of comes down to this. Rudy Giuliani is basically saying not going to happen. It's going to happen if you do two things, Robert Mueller. Don't bring up Michael Flynn and any type of interaction you may have had with James Comey. And don't bring up that President Trump, uh, why President Trump fired James Comey. None of your business. However, those two are obstruction charges. What is it about obstruction that's got Mayor Rudy Giuliani, his head of his legal team, so worried? To me, how do you obstruct somebody from a crime uh, of a crime that they didn't commit? However, and I also think that if Michael Flynn is in trouble and he's your friend and the head of the FBI is there and you're the president, why wouldn't you go up to him and say, hey, go easy on him. He gave 33 years to the country. He's a great guy. By the way, Comey's response was, yeah, he is a great guy. And the only other response was, we don't believe, according to some FBI officials who talked to Senator Grassley, they never even believed that Mike Flynn was lying. So a complicated uh, series of situations, we'll go over it and break it down. But in terms of a verdict on whether the president sits with, Comey, uh, with Mueller or not, that could come down within our show. And I will say this, they'll immediately go to court, ends up in the Supreme Court. What does Brett Kavanaugh do? Uh, if it goes to the Supreme Court. And do they even stop somewhere along the way to different circuit courts before they get to the Supreme Court? And by that time, is President Trump's first term over? Uh, don't forget the phone number, 1-866-408-7669. Mm -hmm. Did I run over the roster, guess? Um, Mike Huckabee, Greg Jarrett, uh, Jason Chaffetz, Ned Ryan, Dana Perino. Ned Ryan's going to focus on the one issue no one's focusing on, but evidently you care most about, mm -hmm. and that is health care. How do Republicans, they failed in repeal and replace. What do Democrats say? They failed with Obamacare. What's the answer? Help the people. They want quality health care. They want it affordable. Somebody's got to do it. Melinda says Democrats are seem to be killing their own party. Terry. With the whole socialism thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can we bring, make sure we get the Maryland situation? Mm -hmm. uh, the candidate for mayor, uh, for governor of Maryland was asked uh, about are you a socialist party? And he responded oh, yeah. with an expert. And then he had to tweet. He had to tweet an apology, but I don't blame him. I mean, if they're accusing me of something that a 28-year-old uh, came up with and then labeling me because of that, when I've been in the party for 30 years, that would bother me. Yeah. Um, Joe Vegas says, Andrew Cuomo, what a shame. Um, He's not cooperating with ICE. He says, if ICE breaks the law, I'm going to prosecute them. Betsy says, if you built the wall, has anyone addressed that people will come in along our coastline? Do you also see the story about how more people are coming in through Canada? There was that one too. Oh, yeah, we got to get that one. Um, yeah. um, Janet says, has she picked up what I was trying to do? She said, do you realize that Greg Gutfeld is photobombing you in the background? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Gutfeld should be on next week. He's been in every other show. No, 22nd. Two weeks from yesterday. Two weeks from yesterday. Yeah. Well, that's nice of him to squeeze us in. <laughs> uh, why not just Labor Day? Yeah, he says, uh, I don't know yet. They, he promises the 22nd. But I think he needs space from you for some reason. Right. 
Same reason you guys. <laughs> exactly. Um, what else? Tell me what else. Uh, what's this popular movie thing? On the Oscars. Yeah, do you think it's a good idea? Yeah, it's a great idea. I mean, how many times do you say, best picture? I never saw any of those movies. Now the Oscars, in a desperate attempt to try to get uh, ratings, uh, is trying to say, okay, what about the, uh, putting a popular movie category? Here's my problem. The people that vote on best movie have already skipped over the popular movie. Now you're asking them to vote on the most popular movie. Unless it's just box office, being tops of box office, okay. That's numbers, but if it's subjective, these, these guys have already, and these women have already passed on these movies and think they're abhorrent, not good enough. So why are you asking them to rate the best movie of the most popular movies? They should be out of it. I guess it should be cumulative box office. Yeah. And then right, which means that Porky's one and two would have been walked well, around with you, two. Uh, they had this back in 1982. You know what would have won or should have won? What? Three. Yeah, Rocky Three, which would never get the, the no, credit. No, but on the popular category back then, it was probably the biggest money draw of the year. There, there was an anti, because there was an anti Mr. T bias, yes. right? Can you pity him? Yeah. Um, John wants. To, he says that there should still be male and female bathrooms. He doesn't like the fact that we have. I know, I know, but you know what's good? If there's a, if there's a, just a man's room and it's closed, and there's a woman's room and it's open. A guy will not use a woman's room. But a this woman will use a man's room. You the think so? Room. Oh, I use a men's rooms all the time. Is that true? You would use a men's room? In the situation, 100%. What's, what's the difference? There might be a urinal in there. Yeah, but the embarrassment when you walk out of the wrong gender room. I'm not embarrassed by it. Really? I had to pee. Uh, I mean, <laughs> what's the big... All right, tell me what you would do. <laughs> I don't know, but...